Hello and welcome to Hyper Production with me, Rory. In this episode, I'll be showing you all the brand new features and fixes that are within the Logic 10.3.3 update. So stay tuned. So up first is that Logic Pro 10 can now support 36 cores worth of CPU power. This is obviously in light of the release of the brand new iMac Pro. So if you're lucky enough and wealthy enough to afford one, you have now this option within Logic Preferences and under Processing Threads, you will now be able to select 36 cores. Sculpture and Amp Designer are now optimized for the iMac Pro, which they promise it can deliver up to 12 times the performance as it was before. Alongside that, Sculpture now offers a high definition mode. So now it offers a much better performance and higher string resolution than it did in previous versions. So this is good news for all you sound designers out there. As well as some new features and enhancement on previous features within this update, there have been numerous stability and reliability issues that have now been fixed. Loops and channel strip settings, as well as other content, are now available using the Apple file system. So it's gonna be making it easier for you to find out all your library content that come with Logic Pro in case you have any missing files or libraries that aren't quite loading or getting indexed correctly. That is all now fixed. So not only does the whole software as a whole in this update have various stability and reliability issues fixed, but it's a great date for our plugins. So the first most notable one is that sidechain detection on a audio channel is now no longer gonna be delayed when going against the source input from a software instrument. So say that you've got a MIDI channel with a drum kit and you wanna have a live sidechain effect against an audio file, it's now no longer gonna delay the sidechain detection. So that is always a bonus. Another feature that has been fixed is the latency mode has now been made more reliable within plugins that are in dual mono or multi-channel mode. So now you're no longer gonna get intermittent latency or anything that's gonna be a bit off, it's now all fixed. Amp Designer no longer sometimes changes its gain output when moving the play header in various places along your timeline. This can be incredibly annoying in case you've got some automation, but then the gain on the actual Amp Designer is then flicking around all over the place, but that is now fixed. Another great fix within this update is that frozen MIDI tracks now play MIDI effects that are on the channel as well. So before, if we had a MIDI track and we wanted to freeze it to save up CPU power, we could play it back, but then if we wanted it with a MIDI effect, so like an arpeggiator or modulator or something similar like that, then when we go to freeze the track, it wouldn't play, but that has now been fixed. This next fix might be a bit of a rare case, but some of you might have experienced it where Alchemy does not show its installed library. The indexing and the way it points to the correct folders has now been fixed so it will always show your installed library. And my favorite part of this update is now that the piano roll now records MIDI notes in real time. So no longer will it be where you record sort of a bass line or something like that and then it shows up after you've recorded it with all the little MIDI notes in there. It does it in real time going along and that is killer. Another cool fix with this update is that if you're rendering or exporting a track, but you are also downloading the additional content within Logic Pro 10, you're now no longer gonna end up with corrupted files when it's trying to do both things at once. So again, that's gonna save you a lot of stress and heartache. Also, if you have mono tracks with a mono two stereo plugin on that particular channel, when you go to freeze a track before, it would always play back that channel in mono. Now, because you have that mono to stereo plugin, it will then play back in stereo even though you have the track frozen so that is always a bonus and last but by no means least for all you mac os high sierra users out there logic pro 10.3.3 now supports auto saving so if you're working on a project and it suddenly closes down do not worry your project is saved so there we have it. There are the key features within Logic Pro 10.3.3 updates. So if you've got any additional things in there that you want to tell us about them, pop them in the comment section below. I will be posting the link to the release notes by Apple, highlighting a lot more fixes and features within this as well. But these are just purely a list that I think are the most useful and the most helpful fixes available at this current time. So if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe. And also, like I mentioned, pop your comments in the comment section below with any additional helpful tips that you have. So I've been Rory from Hyper Production. Thank you for watching. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to watch more, then click on the links next to me and don't forget to subscribe. If you want to find out more information about us, then head over to www.hyperproduction.com and join our mailing list to get all the latest. So I'll see you on another video.